today's installment of Nick's Tube, we're going to do a simple layer swap. We're going to put some layers together in Photoshop. So I call this project Freaky Fruit. So first step is to go find a large royalty-free image on the internet. So I'm jumping onto the internet. Um, I searched for um, pomegranate, right? I went to tools large. I went usage rights, labeled for reuse, right? And I found my image right there. It came off Wikipedia, right? So make sure that you are taking, not the thumbnail, this is a thumbnail, you are taking the full size of image and dragging that into Photoshop to use. So I'm gonna take it, and I already have it open, but I'm dragging it and dropping it into Photoshop, and it will open in its own document. Um, I don't know why my layers keep going away every time I drag in, but there they are. Let's put them back. Okay, so I've got the same pomegranate choose twice, so I'm going to get rid of one of them. All right, so the next step is to take your googly eyes, which are in the distribution folder, or you can go find your own, and I've got um, some of these googly eyes here. So I selected the googly eyes, so that's step one is to select what you want to have. So let me get rid of my selection. So I'm taking my direct selection tool, and I'm scrolling over to select those eyes. Now, there are better ways to select these eyes, right? Um, other ways that you can do it. If you have, let's say, the magic wand, you should be able to select in the background. I have my magic wand's tolerance set very, very low, right? And that's because the eyes are also white. So the standard is 32, but I set mine down to five to separate the eyes from the background. But right now I have the background selected, so then I would have to go to select inverse to get the eyes. But if you have a solid colored background, the magic wand is the one to go with. Once I have the eye selected, I'm going to take my move tool, make sure you have this selected up here, show transform controls, and I'm going to go in, I have to be on one of the eyes, I can't be in one of these spaces here, it has to be inside a selection, and I'm going to click with my mouse and start to drag. So I'm clicking and dragging, I'm not letting go of my mouse, I'm still holding it down, pointing to the picture I want to put it in, come back down and let go. Oh, I have a different display and that's okay, I'm going to hit okay, it's going to put it in there anyways. All right, so you can see that I brought the googly eyes and I put them into my image here. Now, if, if you have the move, if you still haven't clicked on this show transform controls, that's key because that's how we're going to make this image bigger or smaller if you want to make it bigger or smaller. Um, I'm also going to take my cursor outside of it and that's going to give me my curve option so I can curve it on there and then you can kind of get it into place. Once you do a transformation to a layer, you have to double click on it, click, click. Or you see, you saw there was a check mark up here. So let me. I want to. I want two sets of eyes. Let's put some eyes on this drink too. Maybe that's kind of morbid. Um, let's do um, option, click, and drag. So now I've got two sets. I went on top of the eye. Let me show you what I did again. I went on top of the eye. I held option on the keyboard, and a second little arrow popped up. Click and drag, and that will give you the option to duplicate. And I'm going to re-rotate it back. So you can see now in my layers panel, I've got um, two sets of eyes. Right. Let me shrink that down a little bit. Right, I've got I1 and I2. So here's my layers. Now you see them, now you don't. That's what those little eyeballs for. It's for layer visibility. One layer is on top of the other layer. So I just brought these little eyes are on top of these bigger eyes. And if I wanted to, I could double click and I could call it juice eyes. And that way I know that that's from the juice. And I'm going to go pop that back over there. And that way I don't get confused when I start to get so many layers in here. So your task for today is to put some eyes on a piece of fruit. And then if you want, you could create a new layer and you could draw into this layer. So I'm going to double click on that. I'm going to call that my drawing layer. So I want to make sure I'm always drawing in this layer. And I'm going to take my brush tool. I want a standard brush. So I'm going to, I, I have a fancy brush. I'm going to go and take a standard brush with a hard edge, right? It's a circle brush with a hard edge. It, mine is really big. So here's the size of the brush. I could scroll down here to get my size smaller. I could also use, let me click away, um, the brackets next to the letter P to um, make my brush size bigger and smaller. And I may just want to draw into this. Or if you want, you can go find some other, you know, other pieces. But I'm like, oh boy, what happened? What happened here? I'm, I'm worried. Oh, not mad. That's mad. Let me go back. Man Z, go back. Oh no, what happened? And I could put some little arms in here like my body, my friend, or I don't know. This, this is getting a little dark here. And he's holding it. He's kind of surprised about that. And this guy's like, uh, oh boy, I don't know. That That's unfortunate. <laughs> um, and I mean, and that's it. I mean, if you want to go and grab a, a hat to throw on there, I really just wanted you to see that the layers kind of go together and that you can draw a little narrative together and have some fun with that. This this drawing layer is, a, is on top of everything. So I can see I could turn it on and off. And if I didn't like something in it, I could take my eraser tool and I can erase it and I could redraw onto it, right? So I just grab my eraser to make my brush a little bit bigger using those brackets erase it and say you know what he's not going to be happy he's just he's just 
he's just a, is he just is he doesn't know what to think about that uh, i mean this one's oh boy yep he's out all right and there you have it freaky fruit that that's an appropriate name uh thanks for watching